Okay, so now we're going to learn about fractions, decimals, and percents conversions. How do you get a fraction to a decimal or a decimal to percent? Because there's some numbers that are easier to understand and read given different forms. Um, for instance, it's a lot easier to understand 50% um, rather than one half, or a better example would be 5% or 1 20th, which would you rather look at? You'd rather look at 5%. So we'll talk about how to get that fraction to a percent. We'll also talk about if, if decimals are easy to deal with because they're like money, so we'll get those fractions to decimals and be able to compare them. With fraction to decimal, because it's much easier to look at a decimal and know where it goes than it is a fraction. Um, with fractions, you have to find a common denominator, you have to build models. With decimals, it's just like money. So you're going to, the steps, and write this in your notes, are to rewrite an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000. And use place value to rewrite as a decimal. That's step two. So this is what that looks like. If you have 9 twentieths, well, place value Whenever you're saying decimals, and we'll go over this in a minute, you're saying tenths, hundredths, thousands. So to, to write it as a decimal, you need to have a denominator that's tenths, hundredths, or thousands. Well, it's not going to make sense to go to tenths because you can divide this by, ten, by two, but you can't divide nine by two. So the next thing you'd want to go to is one hundred. And the scale factor to get from 20 to 100 is times 5. And we know from fractions, whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so this is times 5. And 9 times 5 is 45. Now, if I say that, if I pull this over and that's 45 hundredths, I don't want to simplify at this point because I want to say 45 hundredths. And 45 hundredths as a decimal is like 45 cents. This is like 45 cents out of a dollar is 45 cents. And um, it, it's 45 hundredths. That's how you say it with place value. You learn this in elementary school. Lots of focus on, on place value. So under decimal to fraction, decimal to fraction, you're going to write these notes. The first step is to use place value to rewrite as a fraction with a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000. And then the second is now you do simplify the fraction. So an example of this would be 24 hundredths. So you'd write that as a fraction, 24 hundredths, okay? Because this is in the hundredth spot, so you say it 24 hundredths, the same as 24 over 100. So you take 24 over 100, and you're going to simplify. And let's see, this simplifies by 2. Oh, actually by 4. Divide by 4, I get 6. And divide by 4, I get 25. So 6 25ths. That is how I go from decimal to fraction. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I write it using place value, then I simplify. Simplify. Okay. Sense side. And so if you have a fraction and you've got it to a decimal, a decimal to a percent, or a fraction to a percent, so let's start with percent to fraction. So put the percent number over 100 and simplify. So um, the example is write 50% as a fraction. So this, remember with the videos, with the models, I said percent is out of 100. So this is 50 out of 100. And then the next step is to simplify. You divide by 50 and get 1, and divide by 50 and get 2. So you've, you've gone from your percent 
out of 100 and simplified to get a fraction. So 50% is worth one half. And this is instead of doing Now we're going to do fraction 2%, okay? So this goes under your fraction 2%. It says to write a fra fraction as a percent, write and solve a proportion. So um, basically you got to get it to 100. So you can say out of 100 and that is percent. So if you've got 9 twentieths, you've got to get it to 100. How do you do that? You do it by scale factor times 5, times 5 is 45. Once you have it out of 100, you can write 45%. Okay? So this is taking a fraction to a percent. you got to get it over 100. To write a decimal as a percent, move the decimal point two places to the right and add the percent sign. And we call this Dr. Pepper, okay? Dr. Pepper, decimal point. And so if we've got 3,800, we go Dr. Pepper, move the decimal point two places to the right, and add a percent sign. It's that easy. So Dr. Pepper, add, add a percent sign. Percent to decimal. Well, guess what? This is just Dr. Pepper in reverse. To write a percent as a decimal, move the decimal places two, to, two places to the left and take away the percent sign. So if I have 66%, my decimal point is here after the whole number. So I go two places, one, two, and because I moved the decimal point, I have to take away the percent sign. So it's just 56 hundredths. So 56% 56 is 56 hundredths.